Hey everyone, welcome back to the Summer Pi series and in this video we're going to talk about our first extension to building neural networks in general but we're going to be using it in our updated GAN and that's residual learning. Deep residual learning was introduced by He et al. from Microsoft Research and it enables us to train very deep neural networks. The motivation comes from the observation that deep neural networks were performing a lot better on image recognition tasks but we found that it wasn't as simple as just adding another layer to your neural network. For a sufficiently deep model, adding another layer could actually introduce a degradation problem and your performance can start to suffer. So now let's get into the degradation problem. Imagine a convolutional network. At each block of convolutions, you have a set of feature maps constantly being downsized at some point, your feature maps will be too small and you can't downsize anymore, but that's okay. You could still add layers and perform convolutions while maintaining dimensionality. You do this by using padding with a stride of 1. Now consider for a sufficiently deep network, your model can calculate a strong set of features for its task. What will happen if you try to add another block to an already sufficiently deep model? Since at a certain depth, your model has already calculated some strong features, the next block should aim to be a copy of the previous block, aka an identity mapping. But the degradation results suggest that there's difficulty in learning this identity mapping. I'm not 100% sure why this happens, but perhaps we can consider the following. At this added convolutional block, your goal is identity mapping, this means that you need to calculate a collection of kernels such that the previous layers will all combine to construct the same set of layers as before. Even though the identity function seems simple to us, due to the statistical approximation nature of neural networks, I'm okay with the fact that this could be difficult to learn. I'll let you think about this one, this is a perspective that I'm comfortable with, but don't bother losing sleep over this. Here's what the people at Microsoft decided to do about the degradation problem. Instead of trying to learn the identity function, let's just pass the information forward with a skip connection. To allow for learning, we'll still apply a convolution to the feature maps, but now we just add its own values, the residual information. The residual info is the identity map, and then you could add any further learned features on top of that. In the paper, they note that in reality, the identity map will most likely not be optimal. Then the ability for this approach to add further learned features is just icing on the cake. Residual learning enables us to create very deep neural network models without the risk of the degradation problem anymore. And instead, it even allows for the possibility of having benefits to our performance. Even to this day, ResNets and other types of networks that involve residual learning hold some of the top performance results for computer vision tasks. So in the next video, we'll start to build ResNet so we could use it in our GAN. So I hope to see you there. Peace.